power washing a Chromebook. There are two very important distinctions when you're having to power wash one of these or reset them, and that is if it's managed by an education or enterprise license. If either of those are true, power washing them will reset the device, but it'll change right back to this managed by where you don't actually have free reign over the computer. The first step to resetting is to make sure you're signed out of a profile. If you're signed in, this hotkey will not work, but you'll do Alt, Control, Shift, and R. And then it will bring up this, do you wish to reset this Chromebook? And then you will go down here to Power Wash. So we'll go to Power Wash, select, and then continue. This Chrome OS notification will show up saying that the device is power washing and resetting. This is what a recently reset or brand new Chromebook will look like, and we'll click on Get Started. It will have you select your Wi-Fi connection, and then it will take you to your sign-in page. Here it is determining the device configuration, and it will go into Enterprise Enrollment because it is still registered by serial number to a company. If the device is registered, it will show Enterprise Enrollment Complete, where it will give a managed by and the domain it is managed from. And from there, it will return you to this login screen where you can either put in your enterprise or your personal credentials, depending on the type of device you have. If you have a Chromebook that's still registered under an enterprise or education license, you may have the option of contacting that institution and requesting that they remove it from their domain. It is something that's possible for Google to reset, but it will require confirmation, both of you as the true owner of the device and from the organization, they do allow it to be released. And that's how you reset a Chromebook.